Hello and welcome to the IT Academy. In this lesson, we'll learn about working with tables. Creating a table in Microsoft Word is very easy. What you have to do is simply go to the Insert tab. So you click on Insert because what you're actually trying to do is insert a table into a document. So you click on Insert and then Table. And then you see these little boxes. So you move your mouse over these boxes and that will define your table. It will define the number of rows and columns. At the moment, I have four rows and two columns. I can decide to move to the right to increase the number of columns and move downwards to increase the number of rows. So when you do that and you are satisfied with what you have, you just click and then you have your table and then you can start filling it with data. For instance, I can type here day, uh, name, department, city, email, date of birth, date, employed. You see it. So it's straightforward. You've just created a table. Now that is one method of creating a table. Another method of creating a table is simply, uh, let's delete this table and do the second method. The second method is like this. You simply click on the insert tab. So insert table, and then you go down here and select table. Then it's going to ask you how many rows do you want? How many columns? So I want six columns and I want um, 50 rows. And I click OK. And you can see what I have here. Lots of rows and columns. So that is how we create a table using the second method. Okay. Now the third method is this. Supposing you have already got uh, some data, some text that you have typed, uh, you have tabulated or typed in a tabulated form, but you want to create a proper table from it because reading from it like this, it's not uh, that easy. So what you have to do is simply, it has name, department, email, and city. So you highlight everything and then you click on insert and then you select table and then you go to convert text to table because it's already text and you now want to make it a table. So convert text to table. You click and it has already put a number of columns there for you. So I just click OK. OK, so let's do it again. I simply highlight it, insert table, convert to text, convert text to table. And then you just click OK. And then you have your table right here. Okay. So that's how we create tables in three, three methods that we use. Now, supposing that you, ha supposing you have created your table and you want to make some modifications to this table. Let's say you want to delete columns or rows. All you have to do is click in here. See, I'm on the department cell. Okay. So I right click. And then insert, what do I want to insert? A column. Do I want to insert a column to the left or to the right of department? Insert, you have to decide. Left, let's make it to the left. Left, you see? A new column to the left of department. Now let's click department again. Right click, insert, column to the right. You can see that. Okay, you determine where exactly the column you are inserting will be. Then what if you want to delete columns? You don't need certain columns. So to delete them, you simply right click, delete cells. You see, I want to delete this particular column. So I click, I right click in it and delete cells. Then you select delete entire column. You see, the column is gone. If you want to delete multiple columns, let's say two columns, you have to highlight the two columns. Right-click, 
delete cells, delete entire column. You see the two columns are gone. So let me undo that. Okay. And then what if you want to add more rows? Now we've been able to enter one, two, three, four names, and we need to enter like 10 or more names. So let's see how we can add more rows. To add more rows, you simply click here. Let's say I want to add rows below James. So I click next to James, right click, insert rows below or above. So I say below. You see, one is there. If I want to insert three rows, I can just highlight three rows, right click, insert rows below. You see, I've been able to insert more rows. So this is how we add and remove columns and rows. There's another way. Now to do that, you simply click inside a table and then you click on the layout tab. Okay, so now that I'm here on department, you can see here rows and columns. Insert row above, insert below. So I'm on HR or let's say I'm on James. Insert above. You can see that it's been inserted here. Then I'm on James. Insert below. You see? more rows have been created and then if you want to delete rows let's say i want to delete these two rows i highlight the two rows and then i select delete and delete rows and then the rows are gone what if you want to delete or add or delete columns so i just go to email insert a column to the left of email or to the right of email if i say to the left you see it's there i click here to the right that is it and if i want to delete columns i simply highlight the columns i can highlight two columns and go to delete delete columns you see that the columns have been deleted i can click on here delete column it's gone. If I want to delete rows, I also highlight the rows that I want to delete and delete rows. If I want to delete a single row, let's say I want to delete James record. I click on James, delete rows, and then he's gone. So that is how we manage our rows and columns. I'm going to create a new table now to demonstrate this next point. I'm creating a table, insert table, insert table. I want six rows or six columns and then a hundred or let's say 200 rows. You can see that the table moves across pages. Okay. Now, if I type in the headers, name, department, email, city, dates of birth, dates employed i don't have to type the header for every single page okay i can simply instruct where to repeat these headers on every page to do that i simply click anywhere in the header row and then i click on layout after clicking on layout i go this way and then select repeat header rows so i click on it and then let's scroll down and see you can see it's here and the next table is here every page will have its table have the header so the headers have been the header has been repeated now what if you have a table that you want to delete how do you go about it well you simply Click somewhere in the table and then you go to layout and then you simply click delete. What do you want to delete? It asks you. I want to delete a table. Click and the table is gone. So it's that easy. So that is how we create and manage tables in Microsoft Word. I hope you like this video. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also type your comments in the comment section below. I would like to hear your thoughts on the video or any related subjects. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.